So if you had one of your videos uploaded to YouTube look something like this, then I might have some help for you. What's up everybody, welcome to another video. My name is Tom and today I wanna talk about the best settings in Premiere Pro for YouTube videos. I recently had someone reach out to me because he uploaded one of his videos to YouTube and even though the source material was really sharp and looked totally amazing, the video on YouTube just was totally mushy and grainy and just didn't look good. And after going back and forth, I found out that he just didn't use the right settings in the end. So I'm going to make this video really short. I just want to give you some quick information about how to get the best results if you want to upload your Premiere Pro videos to YouTube. And this actually is pretty easy, but you definitely have to get your settings right from start to finish. That means all of your sequence settings should actually match your source settings. And to make sure that this is the case, the best thing is to always create a new sequence from clip. And this is really easy, you just track one of your clips onto this little icon right here and Premiere Pro creates a new sequence with all the exact settings from your source material. So you don't have to mess around with different settings and find some settings that match your source material. You definitely have everything right from scratch. And now let's say you're done editing and you want to export your video. All you have to do in Premiere Pro is either click in the sequence timeline or just select your sequence up here, go to file, export, media. And in the export settings you definitely have to make sure that your export format is H.264. This is really important. If you want to upload to YouTube, don't use any other format. Then in the presets you can either choose match source high bitrate or you can use the YouTube 1080 or 4K preset right away. But I personally like to choose match source high bitrate because as you can see down here the estimated file size is much smaller in the end and there isn't such a big drop in the quality. So decide for yourself what's better for you if you want this small amount of extra quality go with the YouTube settings. Otherwise you can definitely go with match source high bitrate. This totally works. Also before you start exporting definitely make sure to check on use maximum render quality. Because this gives you a bit more details and sharpness in your image without adding up in the file size. And now we're already done with the settings. You can now either export directly or queue up your export in the Adobe Media Encoder. Which will allow you to render several edits in a row. And guys, I highly recommend to not use the publish on YouTube feature built into Premiere Pro because even though this is a really beautiful idea, it really doesn't work in the end. It mostly fails before even uploading anything and even if it managed to upload your whole video, I experience that almost all of the time the videos I directly uploaded to YouTube via Premiere Pro would never be available to watch in 1080. I don't know what's the problem with this, but it would always just stick to 360p, which is just really annoying. It takes a lot of time to upload, but yeah, it just won't work. Hopefully Adobe will fix this in some sooner updates because I know that Final Cut does this pretty well. Well, so yeah, hopefully this will work in Premiere Pro sometime soon. But for now you're definitely better off if you just upload directly to YouTube. So guys, this was just meant to be some short and quick information for you. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope this will prevent you from having some issues with videos uploaded to YouTube. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. This really helps me growing this channel. Subscribe if you haven't already to see more filmmaking related videos like this and I hope to see you guys in the next video.